Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to our now third time using these scratch off TBR cards to pick our March TBR for this month. I'm so excited to be using these again. If you can see here, I finally got normal sized scratch off stickers so I don't have to hole punch anything anymore. We're, we're moving up in the scratch off world. But if you wanna know how I made these and everything that is in the first video, on our blue and green cards, we have our TBR prompts. So we have seven TBR prompts and then on our purple and pink cards, we have seven different book titles so you guys know how it goes at this point we're just gonna randomly select seven I did seven last month and I have a very exciting news on that after a word from today's sponsor so thank you so much to book of the month for sponsoring today's video you guys know how much I love book of the month I've been using them and talking about them for years now they are one of my favorite services ever so if you have not heard of book of the month they make it super easy to decide which book to read next each month the editorial team reads through hundreds of new titles and they pick some of the best new books for you to choose from book of the month also helps readers discover books that they otherwise wouldn't have discovered on their own. The selections focus on new and upcoming authors and they also help readers venture out from their normal genres that they read. Every aspect of the Book of the Month experience is designed to be fun and exciting for readers. There's a highly anticipated release at the beginning of each month. You get this blue box delivered right to your door. This is my favorite package to receive. They also have a fun app to pick out your Book of the Month book and also track your reading progress. And they offer great prices on hardcover new release fiction. Much cheaper than other options and shipping is always free. Another amazing thing is they also recently launched audiobooks along with their hardcovers for each month. You can choose, listen to, and download all right in the Book of the Month app. But now that they offer two different forms, you can select either the audiobook or just the hardcover for your pick of the month. The books that I got for this month are very exciting because like I said, Book of the Month help readers kind of venture out of different genres. I feel like some of my favorite books that I've read through Book of the Month are their thriller mystery books that they have as options. So I went ahead and picked two in that genre. So the first one is Listen for the Lie by Amy Tintero. And the little quote on the top says, what if you thought you murdered your best friend and if everyone else thought so too? And what if the truth doesn't matter? But one of the interesting parts of this is the way that they go back into investigating the murder of her best friend. It's through a true crime podcast, which I think is a very interesting element. I'm really excited to read this one. And then kind of giving the same red vibes. I got Kill For Me, Kill For You by Steve Cavanaugh. This one says, she will kill your worst enemy. All you have to do is kill hers. So this one and this one both sound just so interesting and I've been in a thriller mood. And again, I just really have enjoyed this genre I've gotten from Book of the Month. So if you're interested in joining Book of the Month, you can go to bookofthemonth.com to select your first choice. For a limited time, you guys can join and get the first book for just $9.99, which is insane for a hardcover book with the code CHIRP. So all the information, the link, the code, and everything will be in the description if you guys are interested. And thank you so much to Book of the Month again for sponsoring today's video. Okay, now into the TBR that we have for this month, or the TBR we're about to be picking. So I said there was exciting news, and there is exciting news. Something that has never been done before on this channel. Can you guess what it was? If you guys have seen my Goodreads or... I don't really know how else you would know this. The TBR that we picked for February, all seven of those books. Okay, wait, it's six and a half, but February's not over right now, so I'm reading the last one. But if I can finish this last one before February ends, I have read every single book on my February TBR that we have chosen. All seven books have been completed in the month of February. I'm kind of speechless over that. That has literally never happened. I've chosen these TBRs and they're kind of just books that are on my radar for that month and I usually will pick through them. I don't get to all of them, but I genuinely have read every single one. I'm on the last one right now. I'm halfway through. I'm hoping I can finish that before the month ends. Even if I don't, I'm very proud of myself for doing that. I have never picked a monthly TBR and actually read the entire thing. I don't know why I never could get through them, but I did it. So I hope you guys are proud of me because I am proud of myself. Now let's get into our TBR cards. You guys know how it goes. We're just going to randomly pick seven and scratch them off. And we're either going to get book titles that are on my TBR card. And also some are on my actual bookshelves over there. They're not all on here because there's a lot of books on my TBR clearly. Or we're going to get TBR prompts and we'll be picking through that. I don't have a list of the books and the TBR prompts that are on this. Otherwise, I would tell you what we're choosing from. I have a bunch of cards now that have these little stickers on them. So I don't know what books or TBR prompts are on here. They're just randomly chosen from the card or from the list of prompts that I have written down. So I don't know what's under here. Otherwise, I would tell you what we may be choosing from, but I just, I don't know. All right, here we go. Okay, let's pick our first one. I'm gonna go in the middle. One, two. I'm trying not to look because it shows the color and then I can kind of see what we're getting at. Even though I'm gonna look at them right after I choose them, but it's kind of fun not looking. Three, four, five, six, Seven. Let's get to scratching. I have my handy dandy tweezer with me. This is the exciting part. Here's our second angle over here. Our first one is a TBR prompt. It is a green card. Actually, you can't see. I'm not a lefty. Let's switch this. Oh gosh. Okay, we got, I can't even see. Sci-fi. 
I don't know how many sci-fi books I have, but that is our first prompt. Also, please ignore my handwriting. It just, it never gets better. Okay, our next one is a book title. <gasps> oh, I wanted to read this last month. Oh, I'm so excited. First Lie Wins, which is a mystery thriller-ish. I don't know which one. I, like, I Sometimes I can't tell the difference. Sometimes they just like combine in my head. Like a mystery can be a thriller. Kind of thrill. We're not going to get into that, but I don't know. Mystery slash thriller. Okay, next one is another book title. Oh, this one's a long one. Oh, this is another one I've been really wanting to read. I don't have it. I'm gonna have to buy it. The Unmaking of June Farrow. I've heard great things about this book and I've been wanting to read it. I just keep forgetting about it because I don't have it on my TBR shelf. I don't like physically see it. So this is exciting. Also an excuse to go buy the book. Yay. Okay, next is a prompt. What does that say? Oh, a two word title. That's exciting. I I don't know why it's exciting. I don't know why I said that. That could be exciting. I don't really know what book I would choose. Okay, the next one is another prompt. Mystery or thriller? Which I was gonna just write mystery, but again, I don't really know sometimes the difference between a mystery and a thriller. Anyway, next one is a book title. Ooh, okay, this has been on my TBR for a pretty long time now. This is The Way I Used To Be, which is honestly perfect because a video that I'm starting to film really soon we could probably put this in. That's exciting, that's a good one to have chosen. Our next one is, or our last one, is a book title. Not a book title, <laughs> a TBR prompt. <gasps> oh, this is fun, it says ask a friend. Okay, Destiny, if you're watching, you're about to get a text of what book to pick for me. This is so fun. Okay, so we got three books chosen for us, which is The Way I Used to Be, First Lie Wins, and The Unmaking of June Farrow, which I'm so excited to go buy now. We have four TBR prompts to pick some books. Oop pick some books with so let's do the first one let's pick ours first and then we'll leave off with asking destiny what book we should do so hmm let's start with sci-fi because there's only one book in my head that i feel like i have that sci-fi because this is not a genre i usually read so i don't really have a lot on my tbr that is this genre the only one that i can think of is over here and that is red rising by pierce brown now i know people who have read this have enjoyed it i don't know if it's gonna be my cup of tea because again i don't read this genre but i feel like there's only one way to find out first book chosen from our tbr prompt is Red Rising. Why am I a little intimidated? I think that's normal. I haven't read this genre or I don't typically read the genre. So we'll see. I'm also really excited because since I finished my whole TBR from February, I feel very motivated now to finish my TBR again. Let's do two word title next. I don't really know. There's probably, there's gotta be a lot of two word titles, right? We have Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell, One Day, which I just recently bought. I actually just got both of these in a recent book shopping video. Adrian Geffel, also from a recent video. Um, we have the fury oh we also have the fury i could choose from i feel like there's a lot over here too we have midnight kisses pretty girls already falling you again but not down there only these two are the tbr down here is books i've read so i think we're gonna choose from these four and the one that i'm leaning more towards is one day by david nichols this one i talked about in my book shopping video when i bought it and that's because the tv show from this book came out recently and i've seen it all over people reacting to it and talking about it so i've been really interested in watching it i almost started the other day but then i realized it did come from a book first and i've seen this book so many times like this is not a recent release or anything so i think i want to read this because i really want to watch the show and i think that's gonna be a good motivator to get to this book so i think i'm gonna put this one for the two word title on our tbr the next one we're gonna do is mystery or thriller now i would pick one of the book of the month books but i feel like i've had someone here that i feel like i need to get to because it's not fair that they've been on this tbr cart and honestly my shelves over there have some too but i'm gonna pick one from this cart i think i'm gonna go with either pretty girls by karen slaughter or The Fury by Alex Michaelides. I know I enjoy his writing style because I liked The Silent Patient and also The Maidens. I did enjoy the story, not my favorite, but I do enjoy the way he writes his mystery slip thrillers. But I've heard great things about this one. I know it has some topics in this. I don't know really know because I haven't really looked into it, but I know there's some things to look up like trigger warning wise. So I don't really know which one we should do. I know this has been on my TPR for a really long time, but I think I'm gonna do The Fury. I don't know why this is one's calling my name. So we're gonna choose this one for mystery slash thriller. Okay, last but certainly and at least we are going to be asking a friend to choose a book. Let's text Destiny and let's see what she can do. All right, now let's just hope that she gets back to us soon. I'm excited to see what book she chooses because I didn't even send her my TBR. I just like said, pick a book. I hope she picks. This is random, but I hope she... <gasps> 
this is exactly the one I was gonna say. The Wishing Game. I was literally about to say that book that both her and Haley absolutely loved and I forgot the name of it, but she picked The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. She rated it a 4.75, so I've been wanting to read this. I completely forget about it because like I said, if it's not on my physical TBR and it's not written down anywhere, like I don't have this book written down, I just know in my mind, my brain I wanna read it, I forget about it and I completely forgot that I wanted to read this book, so I'm so excited. Another excuse to go buy a book. This is so exciting. Now we have two books to buy this month. Thank you so much, Destiny, for choosing our book. This is so so exciting. Okay, now we have our final TBR for the month of March. This one I feel like also has range. I don't know what it is that's been happening these past few months or if it's the scratch off cards and just picking randomly out of all of the books and prompts and stuff. We've been getting some good range out of these scratch off cards. So now to go over the books that are going to be on the March TBR. Honestly, I f I'm having high hopes again that I'm going to finish my entire TBR. Fingers crossed. I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm now so motivated. So the first two that I don't have is The Unmaking of June Farrow and The Wishing Game, which I'm so excited for those two. I have incredibly high hopes for them, so we shall see in our March wrap up. Then we have The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This one has been on my TBR for a really long time, but it's gonna be perfect for a video that I am currently filming or currently about to start filming. This one will 100% be read in the month of March, and it's honestly been a long time coming. I think it's time for me to read this. Then we have First Lie Wins by Ashley Elston. I've heard great things about this one too. I'm also kind of in the mood for this genre, or I have been recently, so I'm excited. I don't really know about what this is about. It says Evie Porter has everything a nice southern girl could want a doting boyfriend, a house with a white picket fence, a tight group of friends, the only catch, Evie Porter doesn't exist. So that's intriguing. Then we have One Day, which like I said, just recently came out as a TV series and I'm really excited. This one, I don't know what it's about. I honestly didn't even read the summary. I don't know anything about the storyline and I think I want to go into this one blind. So that's the next one. Then we have an intimidating one, which is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I know this is a series. I'm just like really interested to see my thoughts on this because I, one, again, I've said this like eight times, but I, I don't read this genre very often. I don't think there's romance in here, which that's hard to say. That's hard to read, but I've heard incredible things about this, so I'm iffy if I'm gonna like this one. I'm kind of 50-50. And then we have The Fury by Alex Mikolai. This one's another mystery. Again, I'm kind of in the mood for this genre recently, so I'm excited to have a few of this genre on our- actually, we have two of this genre on our TBR, but it'll be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along me choosing my TBR. I love doing these prompts. I think it is so fun. Not the prompts. I keep calling them prompts. The scratch-off cards. I think they are so fun. You just don't know what you're gonna get, and they're cute, and it's fun. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've read any of these books, any of your thoughts on this books and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye!